Hey y'all, it's Krista and I am on location today. I am at my friend Linda's house and she is going to watch me do a straight pour because she wants to learn how to do the middle like I do. So um, I'm going to be super explaining exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so that she's actually learning how to do this pour and have it be successful. So um, check out all of her amazing stuff. I know that, you know, she is not as OCD about clean as I am, <laughs> but um, yeah, she has amazing, she does amazing work and it's her turn to finally do an amazing straight pour. So that's our goal today. So we'll have her, Miss Linda, get us down to the canvas and we'll get started. So in the plethora of paints that I was able to choose from, I chose Artist Law Flow Acrylic in the white. And guess what she also had? 24K. Love that. Picked that. And the... Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. That is a rich, luscious color over here. And I have this at my house, so I knew that I had to use this, the Iridescent Red Blue. And she has this beautiful Liquitex Basics in the Turquoise Blue. And then I also mixed up a Flow Extender, so it's just super thin doesn't leave a trace in the cup. So that's the flow extender and that is the Amsterdam bluish or greenish blue. All right, so I'm going to layer this cup and I'm going to do it all on purpose. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of white. And I mean, it is just a trace of white. And then I think I'm gonna put the turquoise blue on top of that. And I'll put a little heavier layer of that on there. And then I think I'll go into the permanent violet and put a layer of that on there. And then use the iridescent red blue. And then I'll use the gold. And what do I do? You when, lock it in. Yes, I lock it in. <laughs> she knows. You lock it in so it doesn't create a sheen. And you want to try to do as much of the same, as much of the gold as you do the white. So when you're adding the white, you want it to kind of be the same amount to lock it in so that it's not, you know, taking over your pour. So then I'm gonna go into the turquoise blue again. And I'll use the purple. And go into the iridescent red blue and add the gold again. And then I'm gonna lock that in and I really only need 16 ounces for this, and this is a two ounce cup, so I'm almost there. I think I can do one more layer, and then we're gonna stop. And it will be good. I'm gonna set these cups aside while I can. may have a little bit more than 16 ounces, but it's okay. And whatever I have left over, she'll love it anyways. She'll use it. Right, Linda? You yes, gonna use it? I will. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna end it with the white. Pretty cup. 
So, oh, and I brought my own cup and my own torch, by the way. See, here's my torch. Because my torch has paint on it and she can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a beautiful cup. And do we have water? Yes. I think I want to thin down my gold. What happened to the squirty bottle? Oh, here. Here. Oh, okay. She was handing me a gallon. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a gallon of <laughs> water? So I think I'm going to put this down as being my uh, puddle. This is still too thick, so I'm going to add more water. Notice there's paint on my bottle. <laughs> of course there's paint on your bottle. My Lola Vefi bottles look like nothing has ever touched them. All right, so that's nice and thin, so I'm just going to pour that in the middle. I'm going to scrape my cup out so I can fill in the center. Okay, and I'm going to torch it. Look, I'm using a torch, it's not full of paint. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Doesn't have much propane in it. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I have my uh, flame set really low oh. because I don't want to scorch the paint. So I set my torch really low. But there's plenty of stuff in it, smarty pants. Uh -huh. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Okay. So we're going to take this cup and we're going to pour it right in the center. So here we go. Now I'm about halfway through my cup and I'm going to start spinning it. because it adds interest. And while I'm spinning it, I'm squeezing the cup. And then I turn it back. And it's still flowing out and that's okay. And then I start swishing it back and forth. <laughs> We've got a crazy <laughs> Persian cat. And Mancoon acting all crazy over here. And then I am going to pull it back a little bit and catch it and pull it forward. Cool. Isn't that pretty? And that ended up being a very pretty center. I don't even think I need to use a sticky stick on that. Mm -mm. And that I even was brought a good sticky dismount. sticks. Hey, yay, 10 on the dismount. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to torch it. I've got awesome cells popping up, awesome transparency in here, nice little fingerlings going on here. So we'll just give, you know what? <laughs> you might have to use my I'm not using cover yours. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. There we go. Maybe while it was in shipping, <laughs> my thing went down a little bit. But... Listen to this, y'all. See, I get a hard time not only from <laughs> Eric, I get it from Linda as well. That's so pretty. Okay. And this painting is staying here because, you know what? I can pour another video later on this week and I won't have anything drying on my table. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to pour my flow extender around it, and it really doesn't matter what color you use, as long as it's thinner and it kind of goes with your color palette. Because if it doesn't go with your color palette, you could create a really weird color underneath, and that is not pleasing. So spread that out a little bit. My cup is empty. And she is a good girl. She has an omelet turner. So we're gonna spread that out. 
I learn from the best. Well, you know, all all the all the serious artists have the omelet turner, right? Uh huh. You just make sure you scoot it right up to the edge so that you don't have rollover. And we're almost done spreading that out. And then it's going to be the art of tilt. She says that her centers keep being off center. So I'm gonna teach her how to keep them in the center. And that's what I'm gonna teach y'all as well too. All the products were, all the paints were mixed with mix, obviously. She's an avid user. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start spinning it around and all you're doing is opening stuff up. You don't wanna take it to an edge too fast or it will take your center out of proportion. So it's just a swirl. <laughs> what is Riley doing? He's digging in the litter box. <laughs> well, why not? Tilting time is... It's litter box time. Litter box time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't want to take it to the edge yet. You're still spinning it around and taking it as close as you can get without actually doing it. Beautiful cells. And then, thank you. Okay. And then you can start touching the sides, but you have to make sure you keep your center you have a in the center. Right in the middle. I have a. I have a what? Looks like a little splooge. Nuh-uh. I see a bump. Where? Right here. Oh, poo. Here. I got my sticky stick. I got a... Oh, you got a little mm -hmm. grabby grabs. Yeah, there you go. I do have a splooge in there, y'all. What you the have a splooge. Heck? Where did that come from? Oh. It's probably from the top of her... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad girl. I don't clean the tips of my uh, paint. No, she does bottles. not. There it is. Let's let's investigate that at the end and see if it's blue. I guarantee it is. <laughs> I'm in trouble all the time. <laughs> all right, so now I want to fix that. Okay, that's a quick fix. And back to tilting we go. This is pretty. Thank you. I love all the cells. All right, still keeping to the side, but not going over it yet. Bringing it back to the center. And when you get it back in the center and you've gone over all four sides, you have to decide what corner do I want to go to first. So I like what's going on over here I'm not ready to commit to that right now. This right here, mm -hmm. eh, I've got some okay stuff going on. This one, there's nothing going on. And this one, there's nothing going on. So I'm thinking, let's take my center off this way first and then bring it back and then bring it off this way. And then we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna decide which two sides which two corners are next. So we'll go off this way first. Did I say this way first? Mm-hmm, yeah, it's okay. Man. You have more patience than I do. My patients walk in with- Pick a corner, any corner, right? With teeth to clean, so. <laughs> She's a dental hygienist, y'all. Yeah. She sees the dirtiest of dirty. 
And I have no patience. Okay. Now, when I did that, I want you to see that I have opened up a whole bunch of cell action going on in here. So, I'm gonna tilt it back into the center and let all those cells open up. See all those cells opening? Mm-hmm, beautiful. All right, we've made it back to the center and I'm going to take it off this corner next because I changed my mind because I'm, <laughs> I'm watching as it's as it's moving around uh -huh. and I don't like this side anyway right here but she was having problems keeping her center in her center so I'm showing her how to make that happen because it looks like my center is about to fall off my canvas, but watch. We're gonna fix that. Yeah, this is where I run into trouble, right nope, here. No trouble, you're gonna bring it right back. And you're gonna open up awesome stuff up here. Mm -hmm. And you're just repositioning. I love those colors. So we've got the awesome cells opening up here. We've got the sweet lines. We're back in the middle. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go off this way. And as soon as I go over that edge, I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna go off that other corner. Tending the corners after is super easy. All right, I'm over that. And I'm loving that corner now. So I'm going to bring it back. See that corner opening up? Mm-hmm, it's real pretty. I love the center, it's pretty. It's because I'm keeping it. <laughs> She's gonna pour right after this and show me what she learned. All right, we're back in the center again and I'll take it off this way. If it moved any slower, it'd be stuck. Mm -hmm. It's pretty though. Come on, baby. A little bit more. Eat, er, eat, er. <laughs> Rocking it will sometimes make it do that. All right. So we're going to have awesome lines up here, too. So let's keep our cool stuff and recenter our stuff and open up the cool lines. But recentering is going to be very important right here. Y'all, it is a beautiful day here. It was like in the 70s, perfect. And then I need to go back up to Cleveland and it's supposed to snow this weekend, which, you know what? Uh, I'm over it. We're all over it. <laughs> all right. This is beautiful. There you go. I love it. All right, I'm gonna scrape my edges. I'm gonna tend my corners. She even brought her own gloves. She didn't I like did. my gloves. <laughs> well, because I know my gloves fit me. Uh, and all I'm doing is feeding the paint off. Just a little bit on the back, yeah. You see how I'm feeding it off my glove? Mm-hmm. Did I get it? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get this. And, and a little bit on the back too. Nice. Oh, 
is trying to make little bubbles. <laughs> okay. I'm going to scrape right here. And I'm going to take my gloves off. She makes it look so easy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's false. It's it takes a lot of practice to be able to make a pretty straight pour. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as it looks. No, it's never. Mine always look like spines or, you know, bugs. All right, we're going to bring it down <laughs> for the close-up, y'all. Let's take a look. All right, you have a light, and I don't know where to start <laughs> because I'm trying not to be shadowing. All right, so here's that corner that I said will open up the lines. Transparency in here is amazing. Then we've got these awesome cells up here. And then we go up here and we've got these amazing little transparent cells up here. And then look at this center, y'all. It's on fire. No bugs, no crustaceans, no spines. No, nope, no bugs, no crustaceans, no spines. <laughs> it's just a pretty center. Mm -hmm with explosive little things going on in here. Beautiful. And then I've got these little cells over here. And this is why I didn't want to mess with this corner. Right up here. Look at how the cells are popping out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be gorgeous when it's dry. All right, y'all. From Linda's house to your house, I hope y'all have an awesome day, <laughs> and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.